Tonight, family and friends trying to understand why a Booker T. Washington High School student was killed in Norfolk. For a while tonight, they tried to put aside their pain and remembered the good times. Megan Perrier shows us how they're trying to heal. David, the students at Booker T. Washington planned this memorial all on their own tonight. I spoke with some of Damon's friends, and they say not only was he a singer, an athlete, and a leader at the school, but more importantly, he was a really good person. Words cannot express what Damon meant to us, and so we want to just share with the family all that he meant to us. Jalen Mitchell sang with Damon for nearly half his life. Lord, I ain't gonna cry. Um, Damon was my friend. Um, Damon was a friend. He was a true friend. Mitchell planned each detail of Damon's memorial. We've been practicing and rehearsing for this all week. We want to send Damon off the right way. Music, dancing, and speeches kicked off the celebration of a short but extraordinary life. He was a tremendous asset to every to the everyday life of Booker T. Washington High School, and we're truly going to miss that. The crowd marched as one from Booker T. to Damon's house, where Damon spent his final moments, holding hands, lighting candles, and releasing balloons, they came to remember Damon. Me and my fellow cadets came out here to support him. Um, he was a great cadet. He strived to push everybody to the highest point, the highest level they could. Cadet Gabriel Jacobs spoke as though Damon was right there. Damon's a great person. He always keeps a smile on his face. Janiah Ryans ran track with Damon, and she says everyone knew that smile. The best thing about Damon was his smile, period. Like, he would not stop smiling. Once he started, he couldn't stop. That's the best part about him. Ryan says she was robbed of her best friend. He was always dependable, always reliable. I could call him, he always there. Like, you just can't, you just can't get another friend like him. Police have since arrested two teens in connection with Damon Person's death. One is charged with second degree murder and the other is charged with a accessory after the fact. In studio, Megan Perrier, 13 News Now. Motorcyclist died tonight after crashing into a car in Hampton. Police say it happened just before 5 o'clock at the intersection of Greenbrier Avenue and Victoria Boulevard. We're told the car was crossing the intersection when it was hit by a motorcycle that was going very fast. Investigators say the motorcyclist, 28-year-old Dante Cook, died a short time later. There was a 2-year-old girl in the car. She suffered some minor injuries, and police tonight are still investigating. Tonight, state police are looking for the person who fired a gun during an alleged road rage incident at the HRBT. A Hampton man says it happened just before 10 o'clock last night in the westbound lanes. The driver of a pickup cut him off as they were merging in a construction zone, hitting some cones. After they got out of the tunnel, the pickup truck driver allegedly sped up, and the victim then says he heard a loud bang. He pulled over and saw a bullet lodged in his car. It was only a foot away from where my chest was and only, you know, a little bit shorter to my head and it's just terrifying. Could have been dead. State police are asking any potential witnesses who were driving on I-64 near the HRBT last night to call them. Hampton police have a first of its kind in their department. This month, one of their canines achieved something no other police dog in the city has ever done. Janu Her spent the afternoon with the handler and the special bloodhound. It's an extremely rare feat for a police canine like Bugshot to be a certified therapy dog, but those who know him knew he was special when they got him. Uh -huh. You ready to go? When duty calls. You get work? Huh? <laughs> One of Hampton's finest is on the job. Yeah, he's 15 months old. But he's also. No, 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 no. Buckshot. A Believe very it. big baby. He's never once showed any aggression towards any human or other animal. He loves he loves just about everybody. Nobody he's knows that more than master trainer Tom Hendrickson. He's Buckshot's partner. Oh, he smells good. And one of the first to notice the Bloodhound's special talents. He was tracking phenomenal as a young puppy. Uh, advanced very quickly. He had his first street find at five months old, which is phenomenal in itself. But what made him a bit peculiar but rare also made him lovable. He would get out, not only uh, embrace the public, loves public contact, um, but he, he oftentimes gravitated towards people with special needs. It's charming and it helped him get certified as a therapy dog, making him the first ever in the department to be certified as one and also be a law enforcement trained canine but a pup like Buckshot. Because of that, there is a separate demand being put on him by the public, uh, which he's 
Simply put, he's embraced, he loves to go out uh, and, and meet and greet people. Just was meant to help Tom. Diesel actually was seven years old when I lost him. Was the first. He lost his previous partner to cancer, and during that difficult time came Buckshot. His career could last 10 more years. So does that mean you're going to be working for 10 more years? <sighs> and for now, <laughs> we will see. <laughs> they'll do it together. <laughs> the dog's got a heart bigger than our city. It's unreal. In Hampton, Chinoo Hurt, 13 News Now. And if you'd like to follow Buck Sean and his whereabouts, this is a story you'll see only on 13 News Now. Chinu has more information on his Facebook page. At Oceana today, a time to honor Vietnam War veterans. Sailors and members of the Patriot Guard Riders gathered at the base commissary. Last year, President Trump signed the Vietnam War Veterans Recognition Act. It designates each March 29th as the day to honor the men and women who served during the Vietnam War. They've given so much to our country and their legacy lives on in what we do today. It's very awesome. It's long overdue and they didn't have to do it. So everything that they do, we appreciate. The Virginia War Memorial in Richmond, Governor Ralph Northam led a pinning ceremony for about two dozen Vietnam vets. One of them says he is grateful to be getting recognition now, even if it is five decades after the conflict. America was very unkind to us old guns coming out of Vietnam. But today it is nice because we're getting some respect. Of the 725,000 military veterans living in Virginia today, more than 200,000 of them served in Vietnam. City of Newport News is celebrating the legacy of a cultural icon. City leaders unveiled a new mural remembering Pearl Bailey. Bailey was born in Newport News on this day in 1918. This would have been her 100th birthday. She passed away in 1990. She was a singer and dancer known for her performance in the 1968 all-black production of Hello, Dolly. Bailey won a Tony, an Emmy, and even the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She was an ambassador to the United Nations and an activist for literacy and AIDS awareness. She represents the, the culture and the vibrancy and the diversity of this community. We have a lot of strength in this community, and Pearl Bailey was a strong, talented, inspiring woman. Bailey's mural is painted on the side of the city's library on Wickham Avenue, which is also named in her honor. As Facebook flounders in the middle of a privacy scandal, you may be wondering how safe is your personal information. The way Facebook is set up, it can collect data about your preferences. For example, the post you like could show up as an advertisement. Facebook just announced it will limit the data it makes available to advertisers, which could impact the ads you see on your Facebook feed. Reporter Sarah McCluskey found out, regardless of what Facebook does, your data is still out there. Everything we do is being collected and recorded. VCU professor Milos Manich is talking about data mining. Groups are out there keeping tabs on everything we post, not just our friends. But do we really know who friends of friends are and what access will be allowed in the future? So how can you keep what you share for your friends' eyes only? One way, take a look at the privacy settings and adjust them. Another, Manich says, you could get a VPN router, which encrypts your connection from your home network directly to your service provider. For all your traffic, everything you do, and again, everything we do today is, has gone digital. But what it comes down to is what you actually share with your friends. Manich says your posts will live forever even if you delete your Facebook or any other social media account. But at the end of the day, there's a very simple rule. If you don't want information to propagate further, just never post it. All right, the professor there says so many people use social media that current algorithms can't keep up with the explosion of data. He's hopeful that new ways to analyze information will be developed in the coming years.